I don't know what octave that is. Oh my God, it's like uh, well below the piano <laughs> into the depths of the earth. <laughs> below the tuba. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Albert is gonna be joining us in just a second, but it's like one o'clock in the morning in Tuva. So um, I think, it's, I think uh, he's here. I think he's here. Yes. I mean, I see his name. Um, hi. Albert. hi. Albert. Hi, hi. We hear you, but we don't see your face, but. Um, oh, sorry, sorry, just a second, just a second. <laughs> there you are. There you go. Okay. <laughs> oh. That was fantastic. So it's yeah. very early in the morning for you, right? It's one o'clock in the morning? It's or? almost one o'clock, yeah, exactly. Thank you so much. And can you, yeah. Albert, you want to tell everyone exactly where in the world you're located right now? I mean, you're somewhere in Siberia or? Yeah, yes, uh, it is south of Siberia, just uh, not far from Mongolia, about 200 kilometers to Mongolian People's Republic. And right now I am in a village in my house in countryside, but internet is working here right now. Good. So it's um, near mountains of Sayane. It's almost like you uh, Rocky Mountains, maybe. 
Luke yeah. Sigler. <laughs> So Albert, the singing is so amazing. I mean, um, tell us how this started. I mean, have you been singing in this way from a very young age? Is it, are you drawing from, uh, I know you're drawing from tradition, your own tradition, but just um, tell us where, where this, uh, how this technique developed for you. Uh, honestly, I started to learn throat singing when I already been old enough, about 18 years old. But first I was always playing uh, bass, guitar, and then guitar in school rock band. We're trying to play like real rock and roll music. <laughs> of course, it, it was a um, um, teenage, stupid, but happy time. <laughs> But later, I really was uh, interested uh, into traditional music of Tua and then later of other Siberian Aboriginal people. And uh, I discovered that it's real interesting music and somehow it's connected to American native Indians or maybe to blues music, especially like music scale and uh, lyrics. And uh, for last years, I also interested to shamanism, especially uh, poetry and mythology. And uh, I tried to mix uh, in modern way, mostly with the rock music, blues, country. But uh, I use um, a lot of uh, traditional lyrics. Sometimes I try to write uh, my own songs. But the main thing, I try to, to, to do arrangements of traditional music. What, so what, spent, what were the words to the, song, to the spider? Uh, I took it from um, uh, one shaman um, ritual. Each shaman uh, in Tuva has own um, melody, own, uh, own composite lyrics, and uh, own dance. It's like kind of a theater of one actor, but it's together with a, a ritual. And uh, it's uh, like describing a, a spider as a beautiful um, creature of, of the nature. It, it's, uh, it's not a negative or positive meaning, it just it is part of this big world. And sometimes it can be um, dangerous, but sometimes it can be very beautiful. So everything connected in this our uh, world and everything could be fragile and strong at the same time. That is the meaning of the song. And, and if people want to hear more of your music, is it, do, is it um, when you came to New York, you came with a band, right? Yeah, I've been once in Bangalore Tan Khan Festival, maybe 10 years ago, and a couple of times with my band on the tour in the USA. Not very often, honestly. <laughs> and the band is called? Yadha. And um, recently, we just, during the pandemic, we recorded, we finished our album, and in a few days, it will be released in Germany. And I hope later, maybe worldwide. So I, ho I hope the people can get a chance. Fantastic. Fantastic, yeah. So let, um, maybe um, Tim or, or Kenny can write in the chat room the, the name of your band so people can find it on, on uh, Spotify or wherever uh, they find it. Oh, yeah. It. Yeah. Um, yeah, that would be great. Yeah, uh, we were talking a little bit earlier in the week about the about life in Siberia right now. You've been vaccinated, and uh, yes, it is. Yeah, already my family we already got vaccination, but it's it become like a spread around the whole of Siberia. Um, it's a still volunteered, but maybe soon. The people who uh, contact with other people who got a job, for example, all the teachers, medicine workers, they must do vaccination. 
And have you been playing live music yet? Or? Uh, yeah, recently, um, for example, last month, we we done a short tour in some Siberian cities. And authorities, uh, they allowed to do uh, concerts, but with some limitation, for example, like a cultural center, theaters, philharmonic, uh, they allowed 75% of audience. But in the rock clubs, okay. it's uh, no limits. And maybe some festivals will be allowed this summer. So we hope. We hope. Um, uh, Albert, it's been great talking to you. And thank you so much for the song. Yeah. Thank you Me too. We, we, hope to, we hope to see you again. <laughs> Next time, no, no bonus. <laughs> Next time, come day. back. Yeah, yeah, we haven't oh, forgotten yeah. about you. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And thank you so much, Albert. Thank so, you. Bye. 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 Thank you.